So now in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the photo diode. And I set it up in a way where we can measure the voltage across a 1000 ohm resistor and see how much current is passing through uh, the circuit. Because uh, for each volt across the 1000 ohm resistor, you'll have one milliamp of current flowing through. Since these two components are in series, that means that uh, they will both have the same amount of current flowing. The uh, resistor though will limit the maximum amount of current that can flow through the circuit um, based on the supply voltage. But otherwise, the photodiode sets the current. So as long as we stay below the uh, maximum, then the photodiode will be what sets the current. But we can just do a quick demonstration right here. I have uh, five volts and uh, the photodiode has to be reverse bias to do this. So long lead the anode towards the positive side of the power supply, short lead the cathode to the or long lead the anode to the negative side of the power supply, I think I said positive, short lead the cathode to the positive supply uh, up there. And uh, order here doesn't uh, matter, but uh, the diode has to be inserted in the right way. So we have five volts, so of course the uh, 1000 ohm resistor is gonna limit us to about five milliamps of current. That's the, uh, the main thing. I'm gonna pull this away. We can go up, uh, I can go up to 15 uh, really quick. And uh, we'll go down to uh, 12 right there. And of course, I can get much closer to uh, 12 milliamps of current because we got more supply voltage. Now, um, the uh, lamp is uh, not able to uh, get us enough current. So I got the flashlight there. I'm gonna hold the uh, flashlight uh, steady. And you can see when I get down to uh, five volts, I went a little too low, current stayed basically the same so let's uh, yeah let's get it to two and then now we can go up to 15 volts even right there you can see it stayed two milliamps of current even though we got three times the voltage so since I have a 1000 ohm resistor right there and that's uh, one reason why to uh, limit our current in this case to 15 milliamps of current which um, would probably be safe let's see if I can actually do that uh, right there get to a 15, yeah, you know, close 15 milliamps of current right there. So that resistor is gonna uh, protect uh, everything from too much current. So hopefully if the uh, photodiode gets too hot or something, it will just not conduct as well too. Um, hopefully it has something uh, that will help protect it, but I don't know for sure. So now a lot of times the power supply can tell us everything uh, we need to know or whatever but uh, multimeter is better so we're gonna focus on voltage right now because as I said before for each volt that's across a 1000 ohm resistor in this particular circuit we'll know that we have about one milliamp of current flowing through it and as long as we don't uh, get close to the limits of what the supply voltage is that current will be set by the photo doubt and it's reverse bias you got to make sure you put it in reverse bias and um, so I'm gonna set it to measure uh, V for voltage this particular meter I can measure AC as well, but um, as long as that says DC, that's all I gotta do. Red probe, we don't move for anything other than high current right there. So other meters um, might be a little bit different, but it should be pretty uh, similar to this if it's an auto ranging meter. If it has uh, numbers, set it to a number higher than you expect to measure. So that's especially important while measuring current, but even with voltage, set it to a higher number. So. Um, I got these alligator clips, so this is just a male-to-male -male, uh, jumper right there, and I squeeze the metal part of the alligator clip onto the other side there, and it makes a pretty good uh, connection. So I did a DIY crimp just with a, a pair of pliers. I don't know if there's a crimper that would make a good crimp uh, with this particular setup, but in case, we're coming to where the uh, resistor is. And uh, so I accidentally, um, for some reason, popped out the photo diode and uh and then stuck it back in which would be forward uh, bias which you, that's how you would wire up an led that's probably why i did it instinctively and there you can see currents uh way low right there even though there's quite a bit of light uh, flowing on here and uh, it took me a while to realize uh, what i did wrong i stuck it in the wrong way it's got to be reverse bias to get that voltage but in any case um there you can see um we got a lot higher uh, voltage than i expected there for some reason and um, there we go, that's uh, what we should have. So we got uh, half of a volt, probably had like connection problems there, about half of a volt at this light level right there. So I can dim the lamp, it will go down, and then uh, raise the lamp. But uh, yeah, we got that 0.552, 
and that's with five volts at the supply and uh, I'll move this hopefully okay uh, held steady so when you shuffle things around it affects the connection and again if I go to 15 volts it should be about the same uh, you know I think uh, because it warmed up a little bit or something there may be some other factors change slightly but for the most part it's uh, based on the amount of light that is uh, falling on it there you can see we can get it to go down and uh, I'll even uh, you know we got three times the voltage and uh, the amount of current went up like 20% or whatever so there I dimmed the lamp and I think this will be even steadier 0.127 volts so uh, that's about how much currents flowing 0.127 milliamps of current approximately that was at uh, 15 volts I'll try to keep both these in view at the same time and I drop it to 5 volts you know practically the same change slightly but uh, the vast majority of how much current is flowing right now is due to how much light is falling on the photo diode so now we're actually going to measure current and again this is all uh, basic stuff but this is good practice so uh, to measure current first off we don't want anything uh, connected while well, we change the setting on the meter so we got that taken care of and uh, before we change the setting it's always safe to measure voltage so um, you know unless you try to measure like too high of a voltage or something uh, but for the most part having your meter set to measure voltage uh, you don't have to worry uh, when it comes to current you could blow a fuse in the meter if uh, you try to measure a voltage that's uh, not limited I have the power supply limited uh, but if you pass more current through the meter than what it's setting is for you'll probably blow a fuse inside so we're gonna measure milliamps of current and uh, so now we set it there now we're gonna keep our focus on current uh, measuring right here as soon as we're done measuring current we want to get it off and measuring current as soon as possible so again I don't have to move the red probe for anything other than high current right there we already opened up the uh, circuit now we can make our uh, connections so again I'm going to clip these to the probes and uh, the current we're going to measure we have to bridge this gap right there so again we don't want to go to the supply rail at all in this particular case it's better to go in between two components that's the best way to make sure we never uh, put the full supply voltage across the meter while it is set to measure current if there's a switch along the way um, even if the switch is to a supply rail um, then instead of opening up the circuit taking apart uh, components you can just uh, leave the switch off and then go to both ends of the switch and that will bridge the gap you know even though the switch is off um, the uh, current will go around the switch as if the switch was on through the meter but yeah there you can see we got about 0.19 milliamps of current right there and I believe we you know light might have changed a little bit I might have shifted how uh, the light was falling on the component but we should have somewhere about uh, 0.2 volts across that 1k resistor so that's with 5 volts at the supply at this light level and I go to 15 volts and you know it holds really steady right there changes looks like it changed about 10 percent or something but we got three times 300 uh, percent more voltage right now for the circuit it's that light level that set it and I'll leave the voltage the same put the lamp at the uh, brightest setting and it looks like we got about uh, uh, one milliamp of current uh, flow so maybe we got about a, a volt across the uh, 1k resistor right now maybe it's pointing at the light a little better than it was uh, before but I go to 5 uh, volts and there you can see it's still about uh, 1 milliamp of current so let's uh, test that out again first thing we want to do is uh, disconnect our reading right there and then get this off of measuring current I'm just gonna go to uh, voltage right there and I'm going to move the resistor up back to uh, reconnect it right there and uh, see if uh, the way the photo diode is or something if we got uh, one volt across here oh because I the reason why I don't have a voltage reading was because I unclipped that right there so yeah looks like about 0.9 volts and um, so yeah it, it must just be kinda how the uh, photo diode is uh, pointed at the light now it's um picking up more light than it was before even though I didn't try to move the lamp of course I can move the lamp closer and there you can see it goes way up and uh, move it farther away so it's very easy to just kind of bump something 
maybe the breadboard supply or something, and uh, change how much light was falling on there. But uh, any case, this was a uh, long video, and you know it's safe when it's on voltage to to change things. Um, but uh, so I wasn't as cautious as I was while I was measuring current. But any case, we we got the gist of this. This is a nice practice circuit. Um, you know, just for simple looking at, you know, the power supply, seeing the current go up, you know, you got to, you know, put more effort into it. It's not as accurate as a multimeter or a sensitive. Um, but also, you know, it's a good circuit for practicing with the multimeter as well, getting different light levels. And you can tell a lot about what's going on in a circuit and stuff based on voltage and current measurements if you understand the properties of the component. So the main thing for... Uh, this video, as long as the photo diode is reverse bias, it uh, will pass more current as more light falls on it. And there may be other limitations to the circuit, such as the supply voltage and uh, the upper current limit of the uh, 1K resistor right there. Um, but otherwise, you know, you can get more current for more light. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.